Catherine Cates. I'm an actor. I've lived in West Beth for over 14 years. You might have seen me in Orange is the New Black as Jason Biggs' mom, or more recently working with Al Pacino in the Amazon series Hunters. Unfortunately, I'm probably best known for my recurring role in Seinfeld. What's unfortunate is that when I die, my obituary will read, Bobka Lady from Seinfeld dead. Well, I just have to live with it. Come on in. West Beth was adapted from industrial to residential use in late 1960s by a then unknown young architect named Richard Meyer. Meyer's signature look was white, but he also included vibrant colors like these. Now don't forget, this was the 1960s when these electric colors were all the rage. I would paint it over, but nobody's asking me. Come on. And this is our glamorous mailroom. And this is West Beth by the numbers. We have 384 apartments and about 750 residents. About 10% of those residents are original West Bethians, people who moved in here in 1970. We have studio, one, two, and three bedroom apartments. Most of the two and three bedroom apartments are duplexes. We have a multitude of artistic disciplines from visual to performing to literary. The largest single group we have, however, are the visual artists, our painters. To get into the building, you have to go through an admissions committee. Now that process includes income minimums and maximums as set by HUD, as well as artistic certifications, judged by a jury of your peers in the same artistic discipline. So painters review painters, performing artists review performing artists, and so on. We don't judge if we like your work. We review the work to see that you are actually a working artist in your particular field. Are you regularly shown in galleries? Are you listed in museums? The process also requires three recommendations from people working in your field. Apartments here are awarded on family size, not on artistic need. Therefore, a writer with two children may be given a three-bedroom duplex, whereas an artist who works on giant canvases may only get a studio. I live in a humble studio. Our waiting list is currently closed. The people at the top of our studio in one bedrooms have been on this list for almost 20 years, and they will still have to go through the income and artistic recertification before they're admitted. We have a corporate board of directors that oversees the management, the bricks and mortar of the building, and they're responsible for the long-term artistic and financial health of West Beth. We also have an active tenants committee, lovingly known as WORK, West Beth Artists Resident Council, which does the artistic programming in the gallery room and in the community room. This tour was organized by WARC, but financed by the West Beth Board of Directors. If you want more information on the history of West Beth and its artists, go to westbeth.org. Thanks.